next up in James's book, still talking about interacting with dream characters, but this is specifically aiming at trying to ask them some of these bigger or more profound type questions like, I don't know, like what's the meaning of life or something like that. Also assuming you've already found a dream character that stands out to you for one reason or another, right? It's not just some random dream character you see on a side of the road or something like that. But even when you find these more meaningful, special seeming type of dream characters, it can still be very beneficial and you definitely should be doing some research on these topics beforehand to give your subconscious mind some material to work with to give you, you know, a potential answer. Now, occasionally you will find these super awesome dream characters that will just blow your mind with some amazing response that you've never dreamed up beforehand. But those experiences, at least for me, are really quite, uh, quite rare. And, you know, it shouldn't be relied upon happening. So you are a lot better off, you know, like kind of studying these sort of topics to give your, you know, mind some material to work with, which got me thinking about something I really like to do in my lucid dreams and something I shared in a recent video. I've definitely shared it in like videos in the past, but I also have such a big backlog that I'm not sure when I'm going to post the video where I talked about this recently versus when I'm going to post this video. But one of my favorite things to do in my lucid dreams is to like, power up kind of like dragon ball z style where you know i've watched so many dragon ball z episodes and you know different shows that show characters powering up that my subconscious mind has a very solid blueprint to follow when i get um you know when i'm having one of these experiences in my dream that you know makes it really awesome and it really is kind of similar to like a dragon ball z type of power up so similar to that is you know feeding your your mind or your subconscious mind with information about some of these bigger questions before you want to go ahead and pose it to some dream character can really work wonders and you know hopefully getting you some sort of meaningful response out of that dream character shucks so i keep talking here and not referencing the book but james has something written here that gets at what we were just talking about so getting something profound to happen is a combination of the dreamers directed attention toward looking for profundity along with their expectation that they are capable of finding it, right? So if you haven't cared enough to, you know, research a topic of what the meaning of life is in your waking life, then posing that sort of question to a dream character, it's going to be hard for you to expect a really coherent response out of them. And then you compare that to, you know, me liking to watch Dragon Ball Z and having all these awesome blueprints of what a power-up should be like. I have definitely directed my attention towards that profundity and I have a, you know, a very solid blueprint or expectation laid out in my subconscious mind of what that experience should be like. Thus, when I pop up my lucid dreams, it's fucking awesome, right? So anyway, that will wrap it up. Till the next video, keep the lucid dream in practice. Legit.